The last scene in Halo Season 2's finale shows viewers a glimpse of the Monitor, an iconic franchise character who will have a big impact on Halo Season 3. Throughout the episode, scenes of Master Chief speaking with an unseen someone or something are interwoven throughout the main action. Chronologically speaking, the conversation happens after the rest of the episode's events, so it does tease where John ends up. The setting and the identity of the character John speaking to, however, aren't made explicit until the final seconds of the finale. After Master Chief and Cortana crash land on the ring world, the AI suggests they head toward the massive foreigner structure in the distance. As predicted, Mackie and the Arbiter are there too. Although almost every death in Halo Season 2's finale happens as a result of the flood, the Arbiter is killed by Master Chief, leaving John and Mackie to argue at the episode's end. Mackie reveals that she wants to bring peace to the galaxy by acting activating the Halo, and she isn't the only one. The Monitor first appears in Halo Combat Evolved. After announcing her plan to sterilize the galaxy with the Halo, Mackie disappears into the Foreigner structure. Although the episode doesn't show John entering it, the Spartan clearly follows Mackie. Later, John is questioned by a Foreigner Monitor, who is seemingly the Silver Timeline's iteration of the core canon character, 343 Guilty Spark. During their conversation, the Monitor warns Master Chief that it is waiting for John somewhere within the depths of the ring. The foreboding message definitely teases the fact that Halo Season 3 will adapt combat, evolved story, as does the Monitor's cameo-like appearance. Introduced in Combat Evolved, the first ever Halo game, 343 Guilty Spark is a recurring character throughout the franchise. When Master Chief and Cortana first meet Guilty Spark, the Foreigner Monitor is tasked with maintaining Installation 4. The Monitor immediately recognizes John as a reclaimer. In the core canon, humanity inherits the Foreigner's mantle of responsibility, which means humans are custodians of all life in the galaxy. Able to activate Foreigner technology, Master Chief is seen by 343 Guilty Spark as a way to activate the Halo once combat. Evolved's flood outbreak begins. 343 Guilty Spark will be Master Chief's guide for better and worse. While both the lore and story of the core canon differ from the show's silver timeline, the two share common threads especially as the series progresses. In the Halo Season 2 finale ending, the Flood proved to be the galaxy's biggest threat. On Onyx, the parasitic superbeing infects legions of UNSC and ONI personnel, which results in the death of Admiral Parangoski. Even Dr. Catherine Halsey isn't completely safe from the ever-growing, ever-consuming Flood. While the Flood's history and origins have yet to be explored, it will be a focus of Halo's third outing. Since Guilty Spark's main function is to protect the Halo and, in turn, stave off the Flood like the Foreigner's wish, the Monitor has no qualms when it comes to activating the galaxy's sterilizing superweapon. In combat of Involved, the Monitor encourages Master Chief to retrieve the Index and use the Halo. However, Cortana reveals what the Halo Ring does. It annihilates all sentient life in its range to effectively starve the Flood, which prompts Master Chief to destroy Installation 4. Undoubtedly, this rift in Flood containment ideology will crop up between the Monitor and John in Season 3. The Monitor will side with Maki in Halo Season 3. Maki makes it abundantly clear that the Halo is a kind of reset button, a means of ending the Human Covenant War and bringing peace to the galaxy because it will destroy both sides. Given John's dedication to protecting humanity, the conflict between the two blessed ones will be a core element of Halo Season 3. The Monitor will likely exacerbate that rift. Since 343 Guilty Spark's main purpose is to protect the installation and stop the flood, his goals align with Mackie's intentions, which also sets them up as Master Chief and Cortana's antagonistic counterparts. 